Um, you are welcome to the Biodiversity Informatic Training Curriculum and Tropical Plant Exploration Group demonstration site. Uh, usually, when when the plant team gets to a site like this, we we struggle to select a good site for our sampling. And when we get to a site, the methodology we are using, we cut a transect of um, 500 meters by 20 meters, mm -hmm. and um, in uh, to save time, we usually cut the transect and we prefer to do two two plots. That is. 40 by 500 meter, and the transit that we are cutting um, form as as a y axis, and the two the 20 by 20 is like the x axis, and um, um, we take the GPS point of the starting point, mm -hmm. record it. We take the GPS point 20 meter to the north because all our plot move to the east. We take the GPS point 20 meter to the north and 20 meter to the to the east. Oh, 20 meter to the south. Mm -hmm. So now. We measure our 500 meter, and each 20 meter, we put a peg. We put a peg on each 20 meter, and uh, each 100 meters, we take the GPS point, which means that from start to finish, we have six GPS points that we take every 100 meters. And um, right away, you will see um, how we measure the how we measure our our plot. Usually, usually the cutting team goes ahead. And there is somebody that holds it. The, yeah, yeah. We first of all use the compass. We first of all use the compass and the GPS to get the starting point. We first of all use the the compass and the GPS to get the starting point. And we set the compass to 90 degree east. Mm -hmm. And now somebody somebody holds holds the tape. Somebody holds the tape from from um, um, zero. And the next person now pulls the tape following the cutter. The next person pulls the tape 20 meters, 20 meters away. <coughs> and so, so we take the tape 20 meters away and we pin a peg there. Once we pin a peg, once we pin a peg, that is the first, the first, um, the first 20 meters. We now come back. We now come back. This is tip. There's another tip here. Okay, okay. There's another tip here. We now, we now use our compass again and take 20 meters. Give me the tip. We use our met to our compass again. We use our compass and we take 20 meters to the north. <clears throat> we measure 20 meters to the north, and at the 20 meter mark, we put another peg there. Give a chance for the lane team to start demarcating. The 20 by 20 meter plot. They start divide the, 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 the hectare now into 20 by 20 meter plot. And each uh, uh, each hectare now um, um, will, will record 25, 20 by 20 meter plot. Yeah. And um, we also take 20 by 20 meter to the south. To the south. Yeah. This is to give a chance for the second for the for the demarcation of the second plot. Uh -huh. So when 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 this is done. When this is done, we now we now follow the we now follow the cutting team. Uh. Yeah. When this is done, we now follow the cutting team and we continue measuring 20 by 20 meters. Where is the tip? Mike, come with the tip. Mm -hmm. When this is done, Follow the cutting team. Mm -hmm. pull, pull, pull. Yeah, we now follow 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 the cutting team, mm -hmm. measuring 20 by 20 meter until we get to 500 meters. That 500 meter now will give us a chance to 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 demarcate 25 20 by 20 meter oh me meter quadrat. So now now ah. the, sorry, now, I have to answer my no shirt. Problem. <laughs> now now the lane team now. Will now measure 20 meter um, on the upper slope and 20 meter here, and um, 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 to make sure that all the quadrats are the same. 
20 by 20 meter. And when that is done, the botany team, the enumeration team comes in now to measure the diameter um, and identify the species. Like what you will see, um, 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 what we're doing this morning. Usually, as I, as I said before, our, our measuring parameter for this uh, training is from plants that have a diameter at breast side above 10 centimeters. Mm. So when we get to a plant, this, this is a range. We, we call this range and it is 1.3 meters from the ground. So we put the range like this and now, and now at 1.3 we measure the diameter. Mm. And uh, it, it is easy to use a diameter tape. This is a diameter tape to measure the diameter, to get the exact diameter of, 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 the, of the plant. So he, as a measurer, he measures the diameter at 1.3, give it to the recorder, give the diameter. 100. 100, exactly 100. He give it to the recorder. Mm -hmm. Is this it 100 in millimeters? 100 in millimeters, uh -huh. which is 10 centimeters. Uh -huh. Great, so he give it to the recorder, he records it, and now he give the time on the GPS, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, we will want to we want okay, to get okay, a spatial okay. distribution of plants in this in this plot mm -hmm. using GIS or QGIS. So give the time. Eight fifty one fifty two. Okay, the recorder records the time, mm -hmm. and he marks the point of measurement. Mm -hmm. He marks it. It gives a chance for the for the the, the paint person to put to put the paint at that point of measurement. This is because when you come here five years, five, after five years to measure the, 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 this particular plant and to get the dynamics of the plant, you, 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 um, um, you will see the pain and you will know that five years ago this plant was measured here. If you don't do that, maybe in five years' time Moses will not be there to measure, the next measurer may measure it here or measure it here, mm. and you will be having a different readings, which will not be good. Mm -hmm. So after this now, we move, he looks and move to the next plant. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the, the, the botanists. Mm -hmm. The botanists now give the name of the species. Obangia alata. Obangia alata. And the recorder records the name. Mm -hmm. So Moses now moves to the, the, the next, next plant. <clears throat> he moves to the next plant and carry out the, the, the same exercise. For example, look, this is 1.3 meter, but there's a bomb here. Mm -hmm. There's a bomb here, so he struggled Either to just send it below the bomb, which will not like affect the 1.3, or he takes it uh, um, above. Mm -hmm. if, he's, if, if he takes it a considerable distance above the bomb, then he needs to tell the recorder that, hey, this is not more uh, taken at 1.3. I took it at 1.4 meter or 1.35. Mm -hmm. And the painter now paints at the point of measurement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, give your diameter. 135. 135. Time. 8538. Okay. Mark the point. He marks the point. The botanists give the name. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. You should you you should note that you should note that because we want to make this plot more permanent and uh, and because this is a practical exercise for, for this training course, in a normal sampling will give it will give okay. it a tag. You see there will be a tagger moving with rules of tag and he will give you the tag. Hey, this is plan number 500 and this, he tags it. But now because it's just for the sake of training, um, we, we don't have tag. But, but the recorder is following a serial number. Like the previous plan we just measure is, is tag number 338. Mm -hmm. So that's how we do it for permanent plots. <clears throat> right. Okay. One zero seven. One zero seven. Time. Eight fifty four forty one. Okay. Diasporus zinkerai. Diasporus zinkerai. So note that the botanist is given the generic and the specific name, but the recorder records by quote because it's easy to record quotes in the field. Yeah, we take the first two letters of the genus and the and the first two letters of the species to make up a species code. And when we get back to, to, the, to our office, we can now decode all this into, into real um, um, generic and specific epithet. And there is something I want, I want to note. For example, plants like these, plants that, that have 
that have an inclination like this, it is usually is better to put your range below, to put your range below the inclination than putting it up here because there are some plants that if you put, if, if the plants are too big and you put your range here, mm -hmm. you will measure at a different point than putting it here. So it's good to follow a particular methodology. If you know that you are put, if you want to, if you want, decide to put all your range on inclined plants like this above, you should do it for all. If you decide to put it below, you should do it for all. But we pref we at Chopek, we prefer to do it, we prefer to put it below. Mm -hmm. the next part. This one. <clears throat> you may want to know why why we use the GPS. One twenty four. There are some individuals that the botanist may, may have difficulty in seeing the leaf. So, so he, he, he makes a slash to actually confirm the slash of the plant and um, look at the leaves before identifying it. That's one of our botanical techniques. Thrombosia postulata. Thrombosia postulata. Okay, you may want to know why why we use the GPS rather than rather than, than mapping it manually. Um, before we we when we turn on the GPS, we will always put it on track lock, which means that that um, it's, it's already tracking the movement of the recorder. Wherever the recorder is going, it's already doing, it's tracking the movement. So at the end of the day, you can, you can put this, this on a computer program and you actually see how the recorder was moving and taking individual plants and giving them numbers and identifying them. Moses, go ahead. Yes. Remember, where is the pool? Collecting pool? 259. Bring, bring, bring the collecting pool. No, remember, just get it. 57, 51. That is Honteria umbrellatum. Honteria umbrellatum. Move to the next. Yeah. <coughs> Go this way. So that's mm. the pick over there. Yeah, that's the pick. Yeah, that's the pick. Yeah. So, so do this one. Mambo, set, set your pool, set your pool, set your pool. That's the mystery. Mambo, set your pool. I want to do this. 280. Okay, your pool. You will, you will realize that, that the, uh, this is 280, but uh, this this other stem is a multiple stem to this, but we will not take this because it is below our measuring parameter. If this particular stem was like above um, um, 10, 10 centimeter, then we'll take it as multiple stem. But since it is below our measuring parameter, we will, we will, we will not bother to take it. Okay, what we usually also do, this is a collecting pool. We call, we call this pool collecting pool. So, the, at times there are some plants that we, we may not easily identify by, by, by inspection. So we, we, we use the collecting pool to collect, to collect samples and really give them good uh, identification. Because there are times there are some plants right into the canopy that we cannot see the leaves. So, Mom, do that in quick. So, the, um, the botanist and the assistant now, the, um, they will set the, the, the collecting pole. Give me the sector. Give me the sector. Collect. They will set, set the, the collecting pole. This, collect this one. Yes. And, and they'll collect a specimen. And when the specimen comes down now, you will see the botanist now will struggle to, to look at it and give it a name. Okay, the 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 botanist and the the botanist and his assistant 
Once you collect the plant now, they will look at it and they will identify it. This is Leptolus defnoides. So they will give it to they will give it to to, to, to the recorder. If 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 it's a plant that we actually need specimen from it, we will look at it and we select good leaves. We select good leaf. We we, we write a number, please give my pen. Look, there's a pen in my pen. There's a pen somewhere. Okay. If if it's a plant that okay. Mm -hmm. okay. If it's a plant that we actually want to want to keep dry specimen of it, we will now we will now collect a sample like this and we'll write the plot number. This is plot no, this is plot number zero two. This is plot number zero two. Then we write the number of the plant which is 342. Mm. So that will show that this this is found in in plot number two and the tag number is 342. And we'll write the code, the code of the plan, which is L E D A. Yes, L E D A. At times we put the quadrant, at times we don't put but because the plot is unique and the tag number is unique. Mm. So putting the plot plot zero two tag number 342, then the code, um, leather, which is Leptolus devnoides, we now, we now, we now put in a collect, collecting bag. <clears throat> After collecting like this, to keep things in order, we have, we usually move in the forest with, with collecting bags like this. So, we now put in the collecting bag. After we collect specimen, we have our collecting bag. Yeah, we put in the collecting bag like this and we keep going. Mm -hmm. If we see any plant that we need to collect, we collect, write and put in the collecting bag. Nine zero two twenty one. Move to the next. There is nothing that way. That one is less. It's okay. Give my book. Give us more. Hold on. <coughs> Moses. No, it's inside. You, I, no, look, that's H effect. Okay, Moses, why are you using green paint? Like green, you should use like a fluorescent pink or yellow, something that really stands out. Good, no? Good, good. That's a good question. You see, um, 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 we, 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 we can decide to use any color paint. Uh -huh. In some plots, we use red paint, uh -huh. yellow paint, green paint. So it's color coded by plot. Yes. Ah. Yeah. And 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 um, 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 we, are, we are also using green here because it's just a practical exercise. In our normal normal sensors, we use red or yellow pen. Uh -huh. That is really visible. But this is just a practical exercise, and and we don't want any interference with other research in coral. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Okay. Like like when One we. We have another set of data that that, that we usually record uh -huh. when beside our normal plot data. Beside our normal beside our normal um, 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 data, uh. we record what we call observational data. Mm -hmm. What do we mean observational data? This these are that plant species that we don't we realize that they are not in the normal sensors. So so we we, we we record this this species so that to, we can augment our species list and actually have an inventory completeness of an area. For, the, for example, for example, this species in front of me, this is Trichalicia ashindonkiana. It's a rubisi and and um, it has not been registered within the sampling of these two these two hectares. So now, for me to keep track that actually. 
Trichalisa ashindonkiana is found in the area of, of, um, of sampling, I will take it now under observational data. And this will actually help us to give us an inventory completeness at the end of our sampling when we get out of a sampling area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. One thirteen. Trichalisa ashindonkiana. Mm -hmm. yes. <clears throat> For the, the other example, this is this is um, Belanophora wernamia. It's not found in the census, but I will I will have to take it so that we actually we can actually tell people that uh, beside our census, we also have species like um, 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 Belanophora uh, wernamia in this in this sampling area. <clears throat> You may like to know why, why we decide to, to, to sample, to do our plot 500, that long, 500 by 20, which is one hectare. Most people they, they may use methodology of 100 by 100, which is still one hectare. But we, we, we of the, the Tropec feels that if you do sampling of 20 by 500, you pass across different um, habitat type. And passing across different habitat type gives you more chances of recording more species, and that will increase your your species diversity at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Rather than rather than taking just 100 by 100 in a particular um, 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 locality, so we feel that sampling 20 mm -hmm. by 500 meter, you pass across different landscape, mm -hmm. you pass across mm -hmm. different habitat type, mm -hmm. maybe slope. Um, 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 marshy areas that will give different species composition and at the end of the day you, 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 you have so many information that you can integrate within your main data uh, um, 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 data layer okay so and then now now we have come to the now we have come to the end of our sampling exercise <laughs> for transect one, which is plot one and plot two. So at the end of this, we now um, gather all our species that we have collected, take them to the camp, press them, uh, um, 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 describe them, put record them in our record book. We press them, put them in the dryer, and after 24 hours, we, we sort out the dry ones and take them to town for further classification. But as we get out of our sampling plot, we'll keep taking track along the trail on uh, observational data. That is plants that we, we that, that were not opportune, we didn't have a chance to record in our plot. If, for example, we see them out of, out, of, um, 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 out of the plot as we move to the camp, we'll record them and we'll take the GPS point because that will help us to, for a proper inventory completion. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.